Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. This is Panorama 7 from Wave Arts. It's a virtual acoustics processor that can produce realistic sounding auditory scenes for playback over headphones or speakers. It uses 3D audio and acoustic environment modeling to simulate the acoustics of sound propagation in real spaces. In this video, I'll be trying it out in a post-production context and using it to create something which hopefully simulates a surround effect over stereo headphones. I've set the output of the plugin to headphones, so to get the full effect, make sure you're listening to it this way. Let's hear some examples of Panorama 7 in action. Here we've got the sound of a helicopter, and I have the plugin on the track. When I play this back, I can move the pan control in order to simulate the position of the sound being anywhere around the head. Now, one thing about this is you can also control and adjust the elevation. So if you want to give some sense of height, we have this control here. I can adjust it here, but in this representation, it doesn't give a full idea of exactly what's going on. So you might want to switch the view here from top, which is the view we're seeing at the moment, to 3D, which gives a representation of the room and the virtual position of the sound within it. So as I adjust the elevation, you can see that dot representing the sound's position changes in terms of its height within the room. So perhaps we could position that reasonably high up and then have it panning around. And this creates a really nice binaural effect. So for anything intended for playback over headphones, it's a very effective way to achieve that virtual panning. Here's another example. We've got the sound of a Porsche. And of course, I can move the virtual position of the sound around in that way, and it sounds fairly convincing. However, with moving sound sources, especially rapidly moving ones such as vehicles, you might want to also simulate the Doppler effect, and that's enabled here. Now when I do it, you'll get that pitch shift as it passes by. Everything in this plugin can be fully automated. So if I just wanted to quickly automate this, I could go to the plugin automation window here and I could selectively enable everything or a quicker way, which I usually do is hold down all three modifiers. So on the Mac, that's control alt command and just click here. Everything's now auto enabled. So if I now switch the track into latch or touch mode, I think I'll do it in latch. Now we can fully automate that and record everything that we're doing. And just to check that, if we play it back. So there's really quite a lot of potential with Panorama 7 to create very immersive sounding mixes, even when only played back in stereo over headphones. Let's take a look at one more example. So on this track, we have the sound of a drone and currently it just has a continuous sound. So once again, I'll enable Doppler and we could pan it around the room. But to add further interest, there's a reflection section here. So this allows you to simulate the effect of it being in a room with the early reflections. And you can completely tailor this to your own requirements. Or you can start with a preset. So I might choose Live Room. Let's take a listen to this. And if you want the extended tail of the reverb, it's enabled here. You can set the reverb time and maybe even the pre-delay actually. Let's try this. Well, there were some very quick examples of how WaveArts Panorama 7 can help you create realistic sounding auditory scenes, which go beyond the usual imaging capabilities of stereo. In this video, I demonstrated it with a headphone setting, but it can be used to create similar effects over stereo speakers too. For more information, head over to the Production Expert blog or go to wavearts.com. Thanks for watching.